Hi everyone, we are going to have a look and see what is coming through for your reading. This is for all star signs and I really just feel honestly that this reading is about something that someone has to say to you. So I'm, I'm really intrigued as to what happens in the reading because every time I just think about this reading, since I've kind of did my little setup, I was just like, ah, someone wants to say something to you. So we're going to have, a, you know, have a look and see. Um, this is for all star signs. If you're here, I feel like it is a, um, it's a sign in itself that honestly, there are some messages here that you may need to know. And we are going to have a look and see exactly what those messages are. Um, if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. Um, personal services and readings are available down below and on shopmoonlightguidance.com. So everything's linked down below. And um, yeah, you know, my website also has the rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, healing work, prayers, and the intention items, which thousands of people have seen results with. These are items that are meditated with, staged, and really, really special because they are for various areas of your life. And um, yeah, there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, wallet, or your purse. Review section is at the bottom of my website. Um, there's also candles, sage bundles, teas, etc. So definitely check it out if you are interested. All right, let's have a look and see. Okay, what we have, okay, lovers, hello. That that was very quick, it just kind of flipped over, which is <laughs> very interesting. Oh my goodness, all right. Ten of pentacles. Oh, the sun, the sun is like, it just keeps um, coming out and then sort of going in. Yep, so what I see here is that there is someone here who feels so connected to you. They've never felt this way about anyone ever, 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 ever before. And I feel like they, you know, the five of wands, they do get scared. They feel that you may reject them. They feel that you may say no, you may hurt them, you know. And I think that the main thing here is that they're trying to pluck up the courage. They're really trying internally to just feel okay with the fact that if they get rejected, you know, it's going to be okay. But then they get scared. They're like, oh my God, but then if I get rejected, there's nobody else out there like you. Oh my God, you know? So they definitely do get very, very scared about that fact. And they definitely will get themselves to a point where they will think like, ah, oh, you know, um, regardless of how much I could get rejected, it's still worth taking the risk. So the risk versus reward benefit will absolutely sway in your favor, I guess, where they will come towards you and pluck up the courage to do this. It's just that they don't want to get rejected. Um, and even with the Ten of Pentacles, you know, they really see you as the one. So they're trying to pluck up this courage. I feel like with the Five of Wands as well, they do have some people around them that are not exactly the most trustworthy in terms of like friends or family members who are always trying to sway them in different directions as well sometimes. I think their family is a little bit better in that sense um, just because, you know, their family wants definitely wants them to be like settled down and to have happiness and love. But it really depends from situation to situation because some of their family members can be a little bit more you know, like, oh, you need to do this, you need to do this, whereas others of them just want them to be happy. But it's mainly friends. I would say that friends is definitely the mo more part to kind of be a little bit cautious about um, because their friends do tend to kind of sometimes lead them down the wrong path or they tend to be very like, oh, you just do this. And sometimes, you know, their friends are just very like, um, what's the word? Their friends are just like very... Um, Easy go lucky. I don't think that's the right word to use, to be honest. They're just quite spontaneous and they're always like, oh, what's the rush? You know, what's the rush of doing this? What's the rush of doing that? Just enjoy life, just live life, you know. Um, you no need to like do this right now, do that right now. And I think they're more spontaneous. I think that's the word, you know, more spontaneous, not necessarily like, you know, all wanting to like maybe settle properly at this time and things like that. So and their friends tend to pull them into different areas and keep them a bit distracted. I think I think that's the word, distracted. Oh, whoa, the sun is like literally shining in my eyes right now. <laughs> but I love the sun, you know, I'd rather sun exist than not exist. Um, especially here in the UK, the sun, I think there was a statistic that out of 365 days in the year, the sun came out for only a hundred and something days, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. But um, yeah, I don't mind the sun. It's just when I'm trying to read, I can't see what I'm doing, but it's okay. <laughs> who needs to see what they're doing <laughs> I do but it's okay um I, I feel things you know and I think that's actually a really nice component to um tarot is that you can internally feel a lot of these energies it's actually really beautiful because the queen of pent um sorry queen of cups here um very very evidently does show that they feel that you are honestly just such a loving and kind person they honestly have not come across somebody like this and it just makes them feel very very good 
very good. The lovers here shows they're physically so attracted to you and, you know, the things that they would want to say to you are along the lines of, you know, I, I just love you so much, I care so much about you, you're so incredible and genuine and kind and caring and honest, I want to make things work with you, but I have been struggling, I've been struggling in the past and I just need to go step by step, but I really do want to build things with you, I want to live my life with you, I want to make things work with you. I mean, look, they may not say all of this straight away. I think the main thing here is that for them to pluck up the courage and come to you to, to have a conversation in regards to them opening up their emotions is a big step in itself. And when they do that, you know, things will progress. Things will move along. And I genuinely, genuinely, sorry, <laughs> do believe that things will go in that particular direction. So, yeah, I think they've been uh, working up the courage to do this. And I think they're really trying internally to do, yeah, see, look, they're really working on it. There you go. I said it and it's right there. So your affirmation for this reading is express yourself to me. Express yourself to me. Because you know what? That's you affirming that, okay, you feel that within yourself, but it's okay. You can do it. You know, you, you're you kind of giving them that spiritual um, support. Spiritual support. There you go. So, you know, comment it down below. It's your affirmation. When you're feeling frustrated or a bit, you know, here and there in regards to things, just say it to yourself, you know, like express yourself to me. It's just great to put it into the universe. And then once you do that, you know, continue on with your life, do what you're naturally doing. You know, you don't have to sit there and literally wait for them. Don't, yeah, don't, don't do that. Otherwise, you know, things can delay with the law of attraction. Um, law of attraction literally means that you manifest, okay, and you know what you want, but then you're able to let it go and be okay with where you are right now. So that's the key. Um, and yeah, they will come to you. So that's your affirmation, especially if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to also like it and comment down below the affirmation. Express yourself to me. Look at that. They're so attracted to you. They really like something about your hair. That's yeah. 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 They like your hair. They like your appearance. They're extremely, extremely attracted to you. My gosh, physically very attracted to you. I mean, you've got some very heated energies here and also emotionally, they just feel that you're so supportive and generous and mature and that you would go the extra mile. You'd go the extra mile. Wow. There's a very loving energy. And they also do see a life with you. As in, they see you as a life partner. Because you've literally got one card here. You've got the two counterparts. And you've got the lovers. I mean, I can't make it more obvious to you. And, and <laughs> I don't know how much more obvious the cards can make it to you. I mean, I'm sure they will um, in this reading itself. But here, see, they want to resolve their own personal challenges. They want to feel balanced. They also want to just be okay with, like, you know, potentially having to deal with rejection. It's not that they don't trust you. They don't trust themselves. That's the that's the thing I see here. And the reason they don't trust themselves is especially if this person hasn't been very nice to you in the past, they just feel that you have a reason to reject them. You know what I mean? I think... <laughs> literally what it is so the pool here definitely goes to show that they will spontaneously come to you in their own time um they're just trying to pluck up the courage they'll come to you in a window of time where they just feel like strong courageous like very um very much so like the fool like oh screw it. i'm just gonna you know i'm just gonna do it and i'm just gonna say what i want to say and i only live once so i'm just going to say it like that's the kind of energy that they will then be in and seven of pentacles they do think about you a lot we've got the moon as well which clearly goes to show that they have hidden feelings towards you like i mentioned they feel so much towards you they feel Feel like you are their ideal life partner they feel that you are you've known each other before that's how they feel they feel like the two of you have have just known each other before and that you have a strong bond and soul connection with one another there's a feeling when it comes to you that they can't shake off okay oh god i just got so many cards that came out hold on okay i'm gonna not take all of those because that was just a huge chunk that fell on top okay so we've got here the king of pentacles okay i mean look stability security the lifelong aspect is coming up they are absolutely plucking up that courage okay mustering up that courage to come towards you to say something to be progressive towards you yes they do hold themselves back yes there are some friends okay that also have kept them very held back as well and been like oh you know what's the rush like why do you need to do that right now just enjoy your life be spontaneous and they're realizing more and more that their life doesn't feel good when they listen to their friends um yeah <laughs> so they're starting to realize that there are some people around them that are actually not good for them and their personal growth and what they actually want in life and as time goes by they just feel worse and that's just allowing them to come up 
towards you more and more and for them to free themselves of the like past fears that they've had um, and the kind of weakness that they felt at times because they're realizing and having these emotional realizations more and more as time goes by because you've always made them feel very comfortable and even though they're holding back within themselves they do feel very very strongly connected and attached to you which is another thing that I am seeing okay let me just grab the cards message cards one second I just do I do I need to say more <laughs> this always happens in the readings and you know that's why I, I um, sometimes use the message cards I sometimes don't because I just know that it's always going to somehow come out in the cards and this happens in pretty much almost every single reading to be honest um, but you know I, I want you to also see the messages written and I think as a reader for many of you like that's really important because there's always going to be like a couple of people that come to the readings and be like there's no way that those cards mean that you know and so that's why I like to also get the message cards so that you can physically see what's written um, and yeah it, I mean it makes sense I mean I literally said you know with the ten of pentacles they want to build a life with you or they want to live with you they want to you know, be with you in that sense. And there you go. You know, you've literally got that confirmation here that they actually do want to live with you. They want to build a life with you. They want you as their life partner. Do, do I need to say more? I feel not, you know. <laughs> there you go. Yep, they want to see you. So they will want, to, I, I feel like they will want to face to face see you. And we've also got Instagram message. So there's something here also about social media and them reaching out via social media. It doesn't just have to be Instagram. I think with some of these um, sort of message cards as well is that it says Instagram message, but you know, if you get a message, for example, on Facebook or you get a text message, for example, it doesn't mean that this is inaccurate. It just means that, you know, some people do have certain platforms and not others. Some people don't like social media, you know, so this is just about getting a message for them in terms of it being, um, you know, via a phone <laughs> in some way um you know and we have here i want to see you so it clearly shows here that they do want to see you they do want to talk to you and be around you and that is quite clear quite clear indeed and this is literally what we have right here so i really hope you know that this helps you and gives you lots of clarity um you know say to yourself you know express yourself to me that's a great affirmation um or this is also another amazing affirmation, I want to see you, because that's also pretty much confirmed, oh sorry, I want to live with you, <laughs> I want to live with you, I want to see you, they're great affirmations to also hold, because these are things that they have within themselves, but then you can also validate it further, so this is your reading, now of course if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course intention items which are on my website, and take care everyone, I also have TikTok and Instagram which is also linked down below. I post short readings on there every single day. I'll see you all very soon. Bye. Bye.